Kuroki, thanks. So good to see you. Thanks so much for joining us. You must be really pleased about that win. I want to talk about the game one loss and to the two victories. What, was there a couple of nerves coming into the first game or do you think it was just not your ideal game? Um, hello, guys. Um, Hi. Yeah, I think you uh, you hit the spot. It was a very like a, a nerve thing. You know, it's, uh, it's just hard always. <laughs> you play TI calls and it matters so much. Like either you you can set yourself up properly or not. Um, on top of it, we didn't really know what uh, our opponent is about. We haven't seen them in such a long time. So I think we uh, played bad. I'm not uh, like uh, I'm not happy about it. Nobody of, of us is. And they played well. They punished us. Um, I mean, it was just a farm fest. They PO, and that's what happened. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Where you, you said you're unhappy of your first game performance. Obviously, you won games two and three. I think you can be happy or unhappy with wins. Were those wins pleasing to you, or, or do you think there's still stuff to work on going forwards? Of course, as a professional, you always look for more. There's always something to do better. There's always improvement. There is no perfect game, but we're aiming for as good as we can. Um, I think we did a great job just switching up in game two. Um, we just started playing our game, much more aggressive. Um, we did what we were supposed to do in game one already. And uh, so I am happy about it. I'm very uh, proud of my team. Great, good to hear. I'm going to hand over to T Governor and Sheep to ask you a couple more questions. T, have you got any great questions for Kuro? Mm -hmm. Um, you, you already kind of mentioned about the nerf sting, um, but in the you know the six years of competitive play from RTW, like he hasn't been, made it to you know the TI main stage yet. So I guess the question was, did you have to have a different discussion with him coming into this tournament, unlike the major and DPC, about like the approach to playing TI level games or like the qualifier for TI and just kind of yeah, kind of a breakdown about that. Um, not really. It's uh, similar, like playing a major, playing TI calls. Um, I would even say playing the major is more nerve-wracking since it's a real land game. Mm -hmm. So at the end of the day, it's just trying to um, like convey my and our experience to him uh, as much as possible. What it means to play on competitive stage, how to be able to perform, um, get out his true potential. So it's not much different overall, I would say. Yeah, and do you think that he's, you said about true potential, like how much further do you think that RTW can progress as a carry player? Like this is not his, you know, this is his best right now, like how much further do you think he can go as a carry player? I think this kid has a lot of potential. Um, I think this is the start of his career in a way. He had some like good show-ups in the past, he played for OG and a couple of CS teams. He's still pretty young, I think he can go a long way. <laughs> he's committed to the game, the heart is there. Um, I feel he has, like I said, a lot of potential. He, he could become one of the greatest players, but that's uh, up to him. Okay, thank you. Uh, Cheap, time for a quick last question from you. Yeah, one last question. Uh, what did you think of the Marana last game? On core, it's quite unconventional. I wondered if you thought it was good, bad, like worse or better than you expected. Um, I mean, it was a very hard commitment for the Phoenix, uh, that's for sure. It's an idea they had. Um, I respect it. It made me like play Phoenix in a different way. I couldn't commit for X, like very much in the game. He rushes PKB. So at the end of the day, it's uh, it shows their mentality uh, about Phoenix. How much they respect the hero. They committed hard for it. I think it's a uh, like it's a cute idea. Put it this way. Um, but overall, uh, like you said, it's unconventional. Uh, it can backfire very fast. But, you know, like you always got to respect all ideas that the teams offer. It, it could have worked, you know, maybe in another game it could have worked. You never know. And like props for them for trying. Oh, no till congratulations on the series. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Always good to How start out, start out with a win. Yeah. Uh, no, I'm doing there fantastic. Is. Yeah. Uh, nothing, nothing to complain about. We had a, if anything, we just had a shaky start game one i guess some game nerves and and a uh, very impatient uh, felt like we were winning and just wanted to end and and of course when you do that then you end up sometimes stumbling uh but nah happy super happy you were playing uh, i want to talk about the first game you're playing oracle uh you're you're having to deal with topson's earth spirit and uh he really likes to go in uh, with 
which as an oracle you can't really follow how how frustrating was that as an oracle uh yeah i think my teammates were a little uh inconsiderate in game one but you know I, i'm just <laughs> playing with mad mad daughter players who who tend to push it to the limit uh nothing to complain about if anything i just need to keep up i need to get my dagger faster i need to i need to find a way to join them in in the enemy base um <laughs> yeah, it was hard though, like playing against spiders and, and yeah, last game haunt and stuff, but Oracle was fun. Fun cat and mouse game. Yeah, uh, I mean, it, it was a definitely a fun game for, for us to, uh, to witness. Um, you have been in qualifiers for TI before, uh, with great success, of course. Uh, you know, you, you've been at TI's. This qualifier, does it feel different for you? Do you still, you, you mentioned nerves just now. Do you still feel those, those same nerves? Are they the same or is it just first series jitters? Uh, probably just a first series jitters. I, I had I had the exam type feeling today, which is positive. I mean, I like it. I, I, it makes you feel like something is on the line. And uh, yeah, uh, first first official um, with this roster since our ESL uh, tournament, and we're just excited to show show what we have. Show a lot more strategies. This today we showed not to. I mean, this was just the beginning for us. Um, but yeah, we've been here before. I mean, I'm just I'm just happy to to still be in this position, able to qualify to TI, able to win TI, and and yeah, still in it, playing for our lives. I, I will be nowhere else. Awesome. I have uh, of course Tigov and PPD with me as well. They'd also like to ask you some questions. Yeah, I'll take it away. Do you go first. No, yeah, I'll go because... first. Yeah, first off, congrats on the win. Uh, secondly. Um, you guys look like a completely different team, sort of, in games you know, two and three. You looked crazy dominant. Game one was obviously a little bit closer. Maybe you guys could have come out ahead uh, for sure. I saw, but the switch was the Magnus to the Alchemist for Seb. I'd love for you to comment, like, maybe why you guys made that adaptation. And then also, like, do you feel like maybe they could have gone for Broodmother earlier in games two or three, which, you know, Casey looked so good on in game one? I think this patch will see some teams make uh, make certain drafting choices. Um, Broodmother can be one of them. It's it's not unheard of that teams who have a good brood player will first do it. I do think it's most usually it's a sign of desperation. Um, and I think if they would have done it against us or against somebody else who may or may not be prepared for the brood, I'm pretty sure that every team that does that knows that it's they're kind of banking on this to work. And if it doesn't, it can feel really bad. Uh, we we, we definitely don't feel like Viking did too much, and I think game one it was it was cool to have Mag, but game two and three it's awesome to have an Alchemist when when the games go the way they do or the way they did today. Um, yeah, I can all I can hear is my Alchemist like, what are they doing? I'm getting too far, and what are they doing? And uh, I think Viking <laughs> either hadn't played against it in a while or or just didn't didn't obsess enough about it uh, about the right things. Sure. Yeah, that was the, that was the story of the game to me. Like that third game was, you know, it's so easy to play when you win three lanes, right? Yeah, yeah. And I also think they they needed to be jumping us left and right somehow uh, with their blink daggers and, and spectre hunt. But it's it's of course hard when lanes don't go your way as well. My question is about uh, kind of Mia Mia Stelbo. You announced on Twitter that you're working with her again for this qualifier. Is that something that she's working with during the series, or is it just kind of like a before and after type uh, setup where she kind of breaks down the game with you guys, or not the game, sorry, but your kind of atmosphere? Oh, I, I think it all depends on which sports psychologist you end up working with, and everybody will have their own approach. Um, for us, I think Mia would never really break in unless she saw something that needed uh, correction or fixing. Uh, but we tend to work like. Uh, more sporadically, like maybe once a day we'll have our, our, our thing and then uh, something again the next day and then maybe the third day we, we won't be working on, on, on much, um, mentally speaking, or with Mia. Um, but no, it's it's not like uh, after the series we're like, hey, Mia, what did you think? Uh, am I good? Am I doing fine? Uh, tell me I'm good. Yeah. Uh, you tell me I'm fine. Tell me I'm normal. No, yeah. it's, uh, it's, yeah, we have a good system and it's, Mm -hmm. Nothing, nothing too intense. Uh, we 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 spend most of our time just thinking about the game in between. Okay. Nice. All right, Noto. Once again, congratulations on uh, the series and uh, good luck in your next one. Looking forward to seeing that one. And thank you for taking the time to uh, to talk to us.
Thanks for having me. All the best. Have a wonderful day.